Uh, I'd now like to invite the AAA National Chairman, Tom Ganley, to the stage to present the awards. Please make Tom welcome. Uh, the next award we will be presenting is the Corporate Project of the Year Award. The Corporate Project of the Year Award recognises the high quality of work and the breadth of experience the Australian Airports Association corporate members bring to all of their projects. There are two award categories for the Corporate Project of the Year based on the size of the airport at which the project was completed. Uh, so we will first present the Regional Airport Corporate Project of the Year. The Regional Airport Corporate Project of the Year nominees are ACOM Australia, Bankstown Airport Master Plan 2019, Aviation Projects, St George Airport GA Precinct Business Case, Avionics Airfield Lighting, Torres Strait Island Airstrip Construction Airfield Lighting Project, Downer EDI Works, Ayers Rock Airport Upgrade, Securing the Future of Uluru Katachuta Region, Fulton Hogan, Bathurst Island Pavement Correction and Resurfacing Project, Fulton Hogan, Roma Airport Runway Resurfacing Project, Lower Capital, Project BXG Establishing RPT Services at Bendigo Airport. Uh, we will be presenting two awards for the Regional Airport Corporate Project of the Year. And the first winner is Downer EDI Works, Ayers Rock Airport Upgrade Securing the Future of the uh, Uluru Katajuta Region. Accepting this award is Philip Burns, National Manager, Airports and Specialised Pavements, and Callum Bollard, Pre-Contracts Manager, Airports and Specialised Pavements, Downer. Round of applause, yeah, why not? Downer's rehabilitation of the entire airfield pavements was a critical project for Voyagers, the airport operator, in order to maintain a viable and effective airfield and restore full functionality to the airfield. The airport is the first in the country to apply trapezoidal grooving to the entire runway, and despite the logistical challenges of the location, the project was a huge success, allowing extra flight movements, increased commercial flight capacity, and MOZ 139 compliance. The local community was also invited to take part in the rehabilitation. 